Hey everybody, in this video I am going to cover the must-have AI and productivity tools to put in your toolbox for this year. Welcome to 2024. Most of you have heard of AI in this past year and all of the drama and intrigue it has been causing. Some of you have dove headfirst while others have tried to keep it away as long as possible. Either way, it is here and you are most likely using it already. I just wanna help you get a head start on the tools that will keep you ahead of the curve. This is the year where knowing these tools firsthand will definitely give you a competitive edge in your career and well in general. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ben Silverman and I come from the traditional television and film world. But I've been heads down for the past year learning all of the artificial intelligence tools that are coming out and allowing creators to, well, ultimately have superpowers. I started a company called Seated this year with the goal in mind to make AI accessible for creatives and creators. These videos are really for everyone, but especially beginners who don't really know where to start and want a place where they feel like it is okay to learn at their own pace. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It's really gonna help me out if you do. Thank you. So let's get right into it. All right, Notion. My top top pick for anyone looking to organize their life and be prepared for what's to come would be Notion. Working with Notion is incredible. And I have only been using this tool for less than a year, but the way I work has changed forever. It took me a little while to get onboarded, but now my organization is beyond better. I am infinitely more productive and keeping track of everything is so simple. There's so many templates and tutorials out there to make the platform better and more robust. It's built with developing in mind. So you could really do whatever it is you need to do that matches your life and fits into your world. I've done one video on Notion for scheduling so far, but I'm hoping to be doing a lot more other features in the future. But in terms of running a business, working in one, and even running my home life, it has given me a second brain and it has taken much of my stress away. I highly recommend it. Next up is ChatGPT by OpenAI the must-have assistant for the foreseeable future. I know most of you have probably heard of ChatGPT, and if you haven't, you should look it up and start playing around. Google transformed our lives in a way where we search for information, and ChatGPT has taken that one step further to the next level. It has basically given each of us our own customized Google that can even act as your assistant at times and help you complete tasks. It even grows with you as you ask it different things and it learns from the things that you discuss and that are in your chats. This is the one tool that most people who know what AI is have actually tried or played with. Still, the majority of people don't even subscribe to ChatGPT, which gives you the most advanced and best features such as plugins, web browsing, and not to mention creating your own GPTs, which allow you to create specific chatbots that are helpful for specific needs, like your own nutritionist, your own personal trainer, tutor, historian, film critic, life coach, whatever you want to create, you can actually create. And there is no code knowledge necessary. And if you want to take it even one step further, it even allows for assistants, which carry out tasks for you. That is a bit of an advanced feature for those looking to learn something new. GPTs give you the power to create assistants for everything. And this literally is going to be the future. And I think in 2024, the GPTs are going to start coming out and you're gonna see uh, an app store similar to what Apple has. Uh, for OpenAI, and it's just gonna be chock full of tons of GPTs that its community has developed. This is the one tool that I would actually go and try now if you have not heard of it yet. Of course, everyone knows what Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Premiere are, but Canva is a bit more user-friendly without the huge learning curve those other programs have. This program is chock full of all the AI features too. They really just ease the process of designing, well, anything. I'm literally using it every single day. You can ask for example templates for the exact thing that you are doing. And since it is so intuitive, it can even start your design for you and give you different versions of what that design might look like. And then you can just start from there. Now they're both free and paid versions. And depending on which one you decide to have, you can have access to additional features. I will tell you that the pro version 
is beyond worth it. And it comes with additional templates, it comes with additional features, and literally, it it is just so easy to use. There are a ton of tutorials on the site, which the actual company put out, and on YouTube and anywhere you can find different ways to learn all the different features. But the best thing is, is just jump in and try it. The next one is Midjourney. And that is a close second to the tools people have actually heard of after ChatGPT. This is the tool that everyone is using for image generation from text prompts. In the past year, it has gotten so much more advanced and we are now in a place where you might not even be able to tell if it were shot for real or generated with Midjourney. While I understand that this scares a lot of people, it also opens the door to creative endeavors that were just not possible until today. They have been mostly on Discord up until now, but have been opening up their platform slowly to their top users. I've read also that they are planning on training their generative video model to animate images using AI. In regards to AI video this year, we should be looking at a ton of advancements. Last year in photo, it was just beyond incredible what has happened. And this year, I think video is just going to blow up. And in the past year, they have generated over $200 million in revenue. And only a small portion of people are even using this thing. So you should expect this platform to explode over the coming year. Now, I am putting together a guide that I will release in a later video that give mid-journey prompts and also some chat GPT prompts and just a, a guide that really helps beginners out. Speaking of video AI programs, my next one is called Pika. And the company is called Pika Labs. Now, while Midjourney has been really focused on image generation, Pika Labs has become one of the leaders of text to video and image to video generation. I made an earlier video on their new platform as well, which has been made available to the public recently. Before that, they were only on Discord. Now this company has been nothing but revolutionary. Their platform allows for some incredible creativity with editing videos instantly and expanding what you even shot in the video to create a bigger frame. Now, there are other tools like Runway ML, which have gotten a little bit more press this past year, but I expect that Pico will be the one to look out for this year. In regards to editing, most short form content creators already know this tool. It's called CapCut. But a lot of people that don't make videos every day for social might not really know what it is. Well, besides being an amazingly easy platform to edit with, it is also free. There are so many tools within CapCut that just help anyone working in marketing, advertising, social media, just quickly get something done on the go. And it gives you access to incredible video templates to make it easier for you to even understand where to start. And it allows for captions, creating ads instantly. It even suggests scripts for your videos. It can even remove backgrounds. This platform is truly a one-stop shop for the creator on the go, but I really use it in conjunction with Canva for my design and then edit my videos sometimes in CapCut. I still use Adobe Premiere, but this is definitely something that you should add to your toolbox this year. Now, when speaking of one-stop shops, the next one I wanna talk about is ClipDrop. And ClipDrop comes from Stability AI. Now, this application by Stability AI just gives you an entire toolbox of features for photo and video, like upscaling images, replacing backgrounds, transforming doodles into images, you can remove objects, or even relight your own photos that you shot. I did a video for that one, and it'll be up here, and there are so many more other things you can do with this one. You just have to jump in and try it for yourself. But ultimately, since it is by Stability AI and it uses Stable Diffusion model, it's, it's just incredible. And Stable Diffusion is actually training their video model as well. Now, this is another one to look out for, along with Midjourney developing their video. Uh, I would just keep a close eye on ClipDrop because as, as this whole industry grows, they're just going to add new features and, and really on any of these tools. And it's only going to benefit all of us. The next tool just really brings everything together. 
And 2024 is really gonna be the year for automation of your life. And the tools to do this are just so robust already. How many times have you caught yourself repeating a task over and over and over again and really just wishing you can just put it on autopilot? Make.com will give you hours of your time back. With their easy interface, you can just set up automations for almost anything. This one is a bit more advanced and will take a bit of training to use, but the amount of time it will save you is unbelievable. I am going to make more videos about make.com in the coming weeks and months and, and year probably, uh, because ultimately what it's gonna be able to do is just connect all the tasks from all the other tools together. It's really just gonna be able to do those things for you that you just repeat on a daily basis. Now this is for both work and for your home life. It is just incredible, and I'm excited to continue down the path to show you what make.com has for you in the future. I found myself asking for a tool that would just allow me to find and save podcasts super easy. Caster really lets you just discover these podcasts and hold them in your library, get notified for when the new podcasts come out. I mean, I'm sure there are so many tools for this, but I just found this one so simple, and ultimately it feels like Audible, but for podcasts, and I just find it easy to use and I really just love it. Now having a newsletter and trying to stay up to date on the latest updates going on in AI is just overwhelming sometimes. And I've done a video on this one as well, which I'll leave up there. It's called Feedly. Now, entertainment and tech sometimes get so overwhelming. Now with this free tool, you can just find the types of magazines and publications that you like and set up the types of articles that you wanted to look out for, like Forbes and Entrepreneur, New York Times, whatever it is you want. You can then skim articles and then save for later in your own different folders. It's almost like creating your own magazine or publication for the day in an hour. It has been so helpful to me for finding articles that I actually use in the newsletter. And I am also going to start creating my own feed, which you're going to be able to just keep up to date on all the ones that I'm looking at. It's definitely one where if you just want to keep updated, I couldn't recommend this anymore. These are only a few of the very best ones that I would say, especially as a beginner or someone who wants to just dip your toe into AI, that I would use right away, put in your toolbox and have them ready for the year. None of them are too advanced to learn and you can really just up your productivity, your creativity, and in general, your life with this set of tools in your toolbox. Keep a lookout for videos I have done and will do specifically on each of these apps, but I won't be stopping. Every day there are advancements and I will make sure you know about all of them as they come out. And it's always great to refresh the tools that you use and stay up to date with. And whatever's coming out in the future months, I'm just gonna make sure that you know what's there so you can stay ahead of the curve. Now with the changing economy and the changing landscape of the world, it's always better to just be one step ahead of the curve. Thanks for watching. And I mean, I'm looking forward to one of the best years yet. I'll see you on the next video.